I can't believe people would leave money on the back of the stone. In this economy. I know, huh? <laughs> Tell me about it. I'm Tom. And I'm still Dave. Uh, welcome back to Ghost Quest. Uh, in this segment, uh, we're going to ask you people how you feel about uh, what the reason was people left money on the grave. I, it makes no sense to me. It makes no sense whatsoever. Anyone has any ideas, uh, try to contact us. Yeah, send us an email. Yeah. That'll be at the end of the video. And uh, glad to hear your thoughts, your ideas. Um, I, I, I really don't know. I, I don't know why uh, people would do that. Look at show me your favorite part of the video where they had the eyes. Where the eye, the eye was looking at us. It's crazy. Two feet in front of my face, I still don't believe it. Unless I caught on a video, which I did, so. It was an eye looking at us from behind the crypt, which is all cemented in, so I have no idea how an eye was looking at us. And light went right through the back of the crack when the camera light was temporarily out of order. So, yeah, the night, one of our hands went in front of the night vision and it, on the camera, and there was still light showing out from behind the door. And that makes no sense. Obviously it was all cemented in. And then the eye disappeared and then it came back. The face disappeared and then it came back. So, I don't know. I don't know how something like that would happen. But, uh, I mean, to bluntly say... Well, we can show you that video right now. Check out this eye in Mercy Brown's crypt. Our uh, first investigation. Check this out. Dude, I just heard something in there, man. I heard something. It sounded like a crack. Hear it again? Listen. Dude, it looks like there's an eye looking at me, man. Look inside here. Look inside here, man. You see that? Right looks like there's an eye, man, looking at me. Is that a piece of metal in the door? I don't know, man. I don't think so. It looks like a cat. Could you see in there when you shine the light? Dude. Where the hell did it go? Where did it go? Right in there. What is that? I don't know. You see that light? Here. Oh, they cemented it in now. Yeah. The right, man? Yeah. That's weird, huh? That is weird, ain't it? That's all cement in there. Then why does it look like there's an eye looking at me, dude? I have no idea. Right, let me see the flesh. Take it! Alright, man. Oh, I'm Tom. Welcome back to Ghost Quest. I'm still Dave. What did you think of that, uh, that clip, Dave? You make any sense of it? I don't know how an eye could be coming out of cement. I don't either. I mean, it even shows perfectly clear on how, uh, it went from an eye to stone, and then back to an eye again. It makes no sense to me. Um, I don't know. Then what about when we went back the second the second investigation? We didn't see no eye whatsoever. Nothing. Nothing. Not a thing. But the strange thing that did happen was we we set up the video camera and we set up the uh, digital uh, voice recorder, which captures EVPs. That was when we lost 20 minutes out of the recorder. Six minutes. Six minutes. We lost six minutes out of the voice recorder. It was like somebody paused it when we left and then put it back on. And the video camera was still recording? Yeah, they were the both recording recorder. at the same time. We reviewed the evidence. Oh. Lost six minutes. Strange six minutes. things happened at that place. I don't understand why. Anyway. What about that other cemetery? Why don't you show them that other clip where uh, we went back to that 
second investigation, there was no eye there that time. No, there was nothing there. Take a look at that. Right, check that clip out. No eye this time. Same place, same thing. No eye this time. Check that out right here. I can't believe that it was here that night, but now it's not here. <clears throat> Okay. Hello, welcome back to Ghost Quest. I'm Tom. I'm still Dave. As oh. you can see in that video, there was no eye this time. Same place, same grip. No eye. Makes no sense. I have a good idea, Dave. Why don't we show them the uh, the face that was on the stone at the, uh, the Smithfield Cemetery? Oh, Jason? Yeah. Tell me, people, if you think that this does not look like Jason on a stone. That was when we first walked in. That was the time that we seen a bone on top of a tombstone. And how that got there, I do not know. Yeah, we're just showing you all little clips of investigations that we've done. Take a look at that, people. Yeah. Take a look at this video right here. It's like Jason with the mask on Friday the 13th on this stone. Check that out right here. I'm Tom. And I'm still Dave. Uh, welcome back to Ghost Quest. What is this segment for now? Uh, All right. Well, the thing is, uh, we have another clip. Uh, I don't know if you've seen it or not, but uh, it's of two apparitions floating right out of the ground of a cemetery at a church on North Main Street. Uh, the orbs. Dave, yeah, the orbs that came right out of the ground in front of our car. And Dave actually showed the clips down. He slowed them down yeah, to, to I can, show I can people. Slow them down to show you. And uh, I, that doesn't make any sense to me either. The funny thing about that one was it was right after you said, "I want to see a ghost." Right. And right after you said that, two little ones. One goes up like this, and one phew right across the side of it. And that so. was an investigation that we did on uh, what North Main Street, North Main Street, North Barrow Ground, right? I don't, know what, I don't know what the name of that one was. Okay. Well, take a look at that one, people. Yeah, check out these orbs. North Main Street Cemetery. I would like to see a ghost. I would like to see something through this camera happen. Come on, go ahead. Make the light go brighter and dimmer like you just did. I'll turn the other light on next to it. If you didn't see that, if it went too fast, I'll slow it down for you right here. Check it out again. And we're back to Ghost Quest. I'm Tom. And I'm still Dave. So what was the other one we wanted to talk about? The other investigation. Oh, the one with the uh, with the ghost box on uh, the cemetery that was so cold, cold in oh. Antarctica. That place was freezing. That was when we were leaving. I've never been so cold Hi. in my life. I've never been so cold in my life. That was cold. It was like being in an ice house all day. Antarctica. Oh. Then when, when we were leaving, right before you said your eye hurt, we caught that EVP on the... Uh, it was on the uh, digital voice recorder. Yep. It was weird. It said paranormal. Yep. Right after that, you said, my eye hurts. We even have EVP that turned around and said uh, spirit, uh, our names. Uh, so if certain people don't believe that uh, it's a radio that we use that Dave configured to turn around and communicate with the paranormal, which. Uh, picks up the magnetic frequencies of these 
apparitions that actually can speak through that frequency and answer our questions. Uh, yeah, it's just a radio that I picked up. I modified it so it continuously scans through the channels and the spirits can use the electromagnetic fields and the voices on the radio to communicate with us. And believe it or not, people, if you look at these videos, you'll understand what we're talking about. And uh, not only that, uh, it's pretty hard to deny when you're talking to a radio and it answers you back. Uh, no, that, that doesn't make any sense to me. Um, That's my favorite piece of ghost hunting equipment, I'd have to say. I mean, it, it actually would say things that we said. I mean, how many people are going to be on a radio to say the word spirit when he asks, is there a spirit here? Are you a spirit here? And it's a spirit. How many people are going to say Tom and Dave like 15, 16 times in one sit? That makes no sense. Uh, they would say, could you say anything? I said, dead. Yeah. Oh, yeah. There were a lot. There were a few ghosts that asked for help. Uh, it said help. It said dead. They named a few names of what they were called. Uh, yeah, we asked. They said our name, Dave and Tom. Then we said, "What's your name?" I said, "Kevin and Mike." Kevin and Mike. And we'd say, "You said Kevin." He said, "Yep, yep, yep." Mike, help. So, uh, dead. A lot of weird, a lot of weird uh, words came out. Where? Uh, so what was the other clip we were show? Makes me completely believe it. Oh, the one from the uh, beginning there. The ghost box. The ghost box we were going to show, and uh, it's an investigation we did in uh, Cumberland. It was in Cumberland that one. It was in Cumberland, yeah. cold cemetery. Oof. Check out this one. This video is the ghost box in Cumberland Cemetery. Investigation we did. Check that out right here. It was so cold, your fingers turned numb. Oh, like someone cold. cut off your circulation and your fingers were going to fall off. You we weren't even there that long. We were freezing. And it was the coldest spot in the cemetery, which was the center of the cemetery, in the center of a bunch of trees that were in a complete ring. And it was pitch black. Uh, all these places we go to are completely pitch black where you need either night vision or some other type of lighting source to uh, pick up whatever you think might fly going. by uh, or walk by or yeah, the only, walk behind The only you. reason you're seeing anything in the video is from the night vision. Other than that, it's pitch black. Uh, it's, uh, it's a completely different world that people, some people do understand and some people don't. But we're out there to uh, make people think and actually believe that that other world does exist uh, due to all the experiences that we have been through. Uh, we we'll talk to a lot of people, they don't believe us. I mean, that's why we have to catch this stuff on video and actually prove this to you, our viewers, uh, that the paranormal does exist. Well, right now, check out that video. It's a uh, ghost box and come on cemetery investigation. You can check that out right here. Can anybody say hello? Oh, I just heard that. Did you hear that? Yeah. So are there any spirits in this cemetery? Can you say can you say Dave or Tom? Is there anyone in the cemetery? Did that say Dave? Yeah, it did. Just said it again. Kevin? Is that your name, Kevin? Can if there's anyone in the cemetery that would like to speak to us. Please say something. Is there anyone here? How old are you? <laughs> 